going on Sam Rise? Welcome to today's video. I am Sam, Sam I am, and today I want to show you guys how to bring an animated lower third into your Blackmagic Switcher software. But there is one important thing you need to know. We are going to be using an image sequence. You need to make sure that your Blackmagic Video Switcher, uh, yes, your Blackmagic Video Switcher supports using image sequences. Now, the best way to do this is to pick up the phone, call Blackmagic, be like, hey, does my video switcher I own support using image sequences? If they say yes, you're good to go if they say no then you're going to have to look at some other options also if you guys don't know how to make an animated lower third or you don't know how to export an animated lower third i have other videos i've created on that i will put a link to all of them in the description below again if you're brand new around here make sure you go click that subscribe button as well and give this video a big thumbs up all right let's hop over into our switcher software so i can show you how to bring in an animated lower third all right samurais now as you guys can see we are now inside of our switcher software now we're ready to import our image sequence. To import our image sequence, we need to switch over to the media tab. So we're just gonna come down to the bottom and click on where it says media. And then we're going to locate our image sequence. This is the image sequence we made in our previous video. Again, a link to that video in the description below. So as you can see, our image sequence is located on my desktop. Right here, it's called lower third. All we need to do is click on that folder and drag it to clip one. Now, I've already done this just to save us some time because it does take a few seconds or minutes to import depending on how large the file is. Once that's done, we can switch back over at the bottom of the screen back to Switcher. Alrighty, Samurai, now it's time to set up our keyer. So the first thing we're gonna do is go over to the side panel where it says downstream key, select that, choose downstream key one. For fill source, make sure we choose media player one. Then we're going to make sure for key source, it says media player one key. Once that's done, we're gonna come up to the top and we're going to choose the media player tab, choose media player one, where it says media, make sure we choose clip one, which is of course our lower third. This is how we play our lower third when we want to activate it. Once that step is done, we're going to come over to here where it says DSK one, click the little tie button, DSK one of course is downstream key one. All right, now our key is all set up. So to activate it, all I have to do is hit the auto button. It will switch our sources. It will turn on our key. And then I can click play right here and our lower third plays one, two, three. All right, let me switch over to our main shot so you can see it working. And we're going to go to upstream key one. Then we're going to go to fill source and we're going to choose media player one and and key source we want to choose media player one key all right now that that's all set up we need to make sure that our keyer is turned on so we're going to turn on key one and we're going to choose uh what master shot we wanted to key over so we're going to go to camera three then we're going to switch over here to media player and make sure where it says media we have clip one is selected all right, now when I click cut, my keyer will turn on, it'll switch to camera three, and now when I'm ready to play my lower third, all I have to do is come over to the media player and click play. All right, let me switch to our main output so you can see what it looks like. Now when I click play, you'll see our animated lower third pop up one, two, three. So as you guys can see, it's very easy to create an animated lower third inside of Final Cut Pro X, export it out, and then bring it into your Blackmagic switcher to use during your live productions. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's Today's video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you're brand new around here make sure you go click that subscribe button we would love to have you as part of the familia if you have any questions about anything i talked about in today's video make sure to ask them in the comment section below and until next time remember to dream big think bigger and always be you i love you guys i'll see you next time bye